Welcome back to Caravan of Garbage. Now in because Mysterio is making his appearance in a, in a live action man. Is he hero? Is he villain? Is he villain pretending to be hero? It's that one. Yes. That's this, this third one. And that's the episode of Spider Man 1994 to 1998 animated that we're checking out. <laughs> Isn't that amazing week? that they predicted the amount of seasons it would run in the title, <laughs> huh? This is going from 1994 to probably 98, we reckon. I want to actually, I've got an inter- interesting fact at the end about why it got cancelled. Oh, interesting. I think people will think it's. Typical okay. of all things Spider-Man. But this particular episode is called... The Menace of Mysterio. The Menace of Mysterio. Yeah. Uh, this, it's based off, a, off the first appearance of Mysterio in the comics in the 60s. Is he hero? Is he villain? Is he villain pretend? It's the third one. <laughs> it's the third it's one, the exactly. Third one. Yeah. Uh, it's actually executive produced by both Stan Lee and Avi Arad. Oh, Avi Arad. He's had his mitts on this for a very long time, yeah. the Spider-Man property. He's the, he's the long-time Spider-Man producer, yeah. is that right? He's okay. still doing it. Oh, good for him. Whether or not people want that, they don't. He's still doing it. <laughs> even even Homecoming and Far From Home? Yeah, he's got less of a hands-on role okay, uh, right. that he has previously. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Because the Spider-Man properties are getting better. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah. Uh, so it starts with a man sneaking into a, a museum to steal some Egyptian things, isn't he? At yeah. the start. Who is this mysterious person? It's mysterious. We're thinking. Yes, but he's dressed as a Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, right, okay. The, spi- the Spider-Man. Oh, wait, we're maintaining some, some suspense here. We're maintaining suspense. Well, it's Mysterio, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. So he's wearing... Also, a- the episode's called The Menace of Mysterio. <laughs> so if you somehow think he's going to be a hero, I don't know. I don't know what, what bloody bloody brain track you're on, mate. That's a good but, point. Uh, you've gone off the bloody rails, I'll tell you what. So this this version, let's, let's say it's Spider-Man. He's, okay, sure. he's, he's webbing up guards, he's beating What's them up. What's Spider-Man doing beating up guards? <laughs> That's what everyone's saying. Oh my God. But what, what does come up later, but it should come up earlier in this episode, is nobody's... Everybody just assumes that it's Spider-Man. No one's like... Well, anyone can put on a Spider-Man costume. You're right. Uh-huh. Because anybody can. That's true. Uh, and then uh, Peter gets woken up the next day by MJ. She's doing gymnastics mm. on, on the phone. And she's like, hey, uh, what's going you're on? You're going to have pretty good balance if you're going to do gymnastics on a phone. Let I, me tell you. I, I that's very good. Uh, what do you think of Peter Parker's pajamas? 90s nighttime pajamas. I, I love all his outfits. <laughs> I love... Because they've, they've clearly gone, okay, well, we can't, you can't wear an Argyle vest and glasses like a, like a no, 60s a nerd. nerd. So let's give him a tucked in gigantic polo shirt into his Slacks, like a cool 90s kid, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. She wants to th- them to get together so she can learn some studying stuff off him. Mm. But then she's also like... Kissing and, and, and then some, <laughs> that'll be followed by some light kissing. Oh, that's, that's, it, that's implied. That's on the syllabus, sure. But then on the news, we see that's the, the footage of Spider-Man who, who's been robbing this museum. The other thing is the footage is exactly the same as what we saw as the audience. I hate that when you see that in movies. There's, with, there's the quick security cuts footage. and pans, yeah. yeah. There's a close-up <laughs> on, the, on the bad guy as he says his line in the security footage. That camera doesn't move. How'd you do that? Did the security guy edit it for clarity? Look, Look, it's look, not we, just a security guard. Look, we got robbed, but it wasn't very exciting. So I thought I'd add some star wipes. <laughs> so J. Jonah Jameson is covering the event at the, at the museum. Uh, he's, he's doing some on-camera reporting in this, isn't he? Yeah, right. Uh-huh. He's, he's a man of all mediums. Well, or the he, two mediums available. Exactly. Yeah, but, but he... Look... He's gonna he's gonna go hands on if he wants to put the boot into Spider Man, obviously, because yeah, he because he yeah. hates him inexplicably for but some reason. Peter Parker investigates. He's, he's walking around. He finds some webbing. Just wanders around. Just wanders. No one stops him. Just clings to some walls. But then a, a, a cop shows up and she's like, "You're not allowed to touch anything. You're just a reporter." And he's like, "Look, I'm just a reporter. But have you noticed this web doesn't dissolve? And Spider Man's web always dissolves every time." Oh. And she's like fucking cares maybe he's got new webs <laughs> I don't know what do you know so much about his webs he's some sort of web perv <laughs> so then we get an, uh, an indoor tornado did you learn about that on rotten.com <laughs> the premier and only website in the 90s <laughs> you learn all about his creepy webs you perv <laughs> Is that website still going almost certainly yeah look if, if there's going to be an image of it make it blurred Ben yeah <laughs> yes no. Uh, then we get an indoor tornado. Oh, Mysterio yeah, right. shows up and he's all, I'm better than Spider-Man. I've got all the powers that you've seen, but more powers. I look and speak exactly like a villain, but you're <laughs> on board with me for some reason. What do you think of this outfit? Sinister enough? Yeah, I've, I've used all the most sinister colours. What about this? My head's a basketball. <laughs> What do you think oh, of that? Oh, that's right. He's like he's like a, he's like one of those contact jugglers at the mall. They're like, what can you do to stop Spider-Man? He's like, how about this? And he's, his head rolls off his body yeah. and down his arm and then across the other arm and the whole crowd are like, 
Uh, and then he he, he, fly, he makes a tornado and he, he the roof explodes and he flies out. But it's 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 not real, Mason. <gasps> How does he do it? Holograms, it turns out. Yeah, yeah. Look, we'll get to that in a minute. But I feel like ultimately he should be thanking Spider Man for giving him the the inspiration to do what he's he's what inventing he does. some crazy stuff here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I don't understand why though you turn up and be like, listen, I'm a good guy. The roof's caved in. Just kidding. Like what kind of villain? Is, what kind of hero is that? You know That's what I true, mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. Peter Parker. Parker, though, realizes that his spider sense doesn't go off with these. Uh, he's like, oh, it must be fake because my spider sense, you know, oh, normally yeah, okay. it, 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 it does a thing, but it, it didn't. So he goes after him and they go to a mall and that's when fake Spider-Man uh, appears, but then disappears. Ooh. And then Mysterio's like, let's have a fight because you ruined me. <laughs> I'm a good guy, but <laughs> let's but anyway, have a fight. But anyway, I'm just going to exposit a few clues to my identity. Here we go. <laughs> that I don't understand because he goes, why don't you go to the side of this bridge? The bridge where you ruined me. Mm. And then from that, Spider-Man's able to go, oh, it's that guy I ruined at the bridge. <laughs> like, I mean, you- I ruined a bunch of dudes <laughs> at a bridge, to be fair. Uh, so anyway, Spider-Man's on the bridge and there's an explosion and he's like, oh, it's probably just a hologram. Turns out it's, it's a real explosion. It's a bunch of rocks. I like a hero would do. Like a hero would do, and he's knocked into the water. Uh, the cops are circling the water in helicopters, being like, well, he must be dead because this helicopter must have been here immediately because we didn't see him come up at all. <laughs> like, he couldn't, have, he couldn't have immediately come up under the bridge. But it turns out, no, he was underwater the whole time. He made an airbag. Oh, he of, did, that's out right. Out of webs. Out of webs, yeah. <laughs> How did he have time to come up and get the air? I don't know. Yeah? Was he continually coming up and scooping some air out for his little airbag? Why didn't he make like a little like a little web straw? Web straw. And he could have just back, backstroked out of there under the water. That's right. Frog kick. So they can't find the body and Mysterio. So they all just assume he's dead. And yeah. Mysterio's like, I've done it. <laughs> I I'm did like, it with this one weakness, a rock fall. Uh, then Mary Jane Watson rings and she's like, hey, didn't we have a date? We were going to do some kissing practice. That's right. And you weren't there and now it's over and you only get one like, chance. Ooh. Yeah, he's like, I wanted to do kissing practice. <laughs> uh, so she's like, we're done forever. That, mm. that doesn't really stick. Not in this episode, at least. She mm. comes around pretty quickly. It's not like Spider-Man's webs. It doesn't stick. Mm, that's very good, Mason. Mm. Uh, so anyway, this is when Spider-Man decides to give up being Spider-Man because not getting in his kissing practice is the last yeah. straw. Uh-huh, exactly. There's a and lot plus, in this episode. Plus he has to give up being Spider-Man at least once a week, as we all know. Absolutely, he has, to, yes. he has to get that uniform, he has to throw it in the trash. But just as he's given up, that, that cop turns up and she's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure Spider-Man's been framed and you're mates with Spider-Man. You know all about his webs, you creep. <laughs> so why don't you help me and we'll figure out what you know who this Mysterio guy, guy is and what's really going on and Spider-Man's like I don't think so but here's an extended flashback about my origin oh, and then yeah, we just get right. five minutes of the Spider-Man origin and this is like episode five of the season yeah so did that not come up in the first episode I, do I wonder not know. does it come up every episode <laughs> is there an extended flashback to the death of his uncle every single episode maybe I mean that's why it was cancelled it's very possible so yeah anyway we get the origin and then I guess he realizes that he's um he's, he's gonna he wants to be Spider Man and then he re- the great power comes with responsibility. responsibility. Yeah. So then he remembers that oh that's right the guy from the bridge was a special effects guy who rigged a very dangerous explosion which crashed a helicopter and nearly killed people but I Spider Man caught it and his name was Quentin Beck. And he went to jail. Quentin went into jail. Quentin went into jail. Oh my god. Uh, all these things he was able to determine because Mysterio told him as such. Yeah, that's kind of the way it went. Was he? Pl- I guess he was planning on killing Spider-Man and then being like, well, I'll just kill him with some rocks and then it doesn't matter what I tell him. You should have killed him with the rocks first. I agree. This is, look, I understand that there's a certain way to go if you're a villain. Mm. It's exposit and tell him your evil plan and then kill him. Mostly kill him yep. first. And then as they're dying, tell them you plan. I would say kill them completely and yep. then shout at their corpse. <laughs> That's an even better idea. For safety. Idea. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm. Jameson uh, is in a limo and he's, he's, he's going to uh, uh, the studios because Spider-Man sends him a fax or someone sends him a That's car nice, fax. Yeah. <laughs> what an era. Yep. So many mediums of technology yeah. in, mm-hmm. in this episode. The Spider-Man goes to uh, this, this factory where some special effects are happening and he finds a Spider-Man suction cup suit. Just uh, hanging out there. There's holograms. There's there's a Mysterio, but you take the cloak off Mysterio and it's, and a, it's a lizard it's a man. That's no, a werewolf. That's a werewolf, all right. Yeah, but it's just kind of going, ah, it's not, yeah. it's not really moving. It's not his best illusion, is it? <laughs> A werewolf robot man <laughs> that goes, ah. So it's all animatronics and holograms and, t- and tricks of the mind and eye. Yes. Uh, and then Mysterio's like, well, I'm going to give you a test, a test of your spider wits. So he puts him on a big spinning disc 
and spins him around. <laughs> Spider-Man stays on the disc, allowing himself You're to be... You're a roulette be... ball now. <laughs> Why does he stay on the disc and allow himself to be disorientated? It's a good question, isn't it? Is it just a good sport? I guess maybe he is, yeah. yeah. He's like, I want to see how this plays out. This guy's a man with a fishbowl in his head. <laughs> yeah, I'll play. Yeah, yeah, I'll play this. So then he fights a series of like movie monsters, uh, better than the werewolf, I would say. Yeah, there's like a giant crocodile monster. And there's like a T-Rex or whatever. Then he falls down and he gets stuck in, in a web. He's stuck in a web. Oh, the, the, a web of his own making? No, a web of somebody else's making. Huh. And then there's a big spider coming down to him. It's like, um, oh no, he's in trouble now. Do the spider think? becomes the fly. So, and this is obviously the point where I'm sure you thought as well. This shit is really expensive and really advanced. Also, did he put it together himself? This is mm. one dude here. I mean, I know he was like, you know, he used to do this previously, but this stuff, you could sell this stuff. You could just yep. be a special effects guy. You have a hologram the size of a very small square rock. Yes. A small cube, Mason, <laughs> oh, yes. if you will, yes. that projects an entire collapsing ceiling yep. onto a ceiling that's like 40 feet away. Yeah. Like, that is amazing. The technology is incredible. He's got so many of them, too. <laughs> yeah. So, J. Jonah Jameson gets trapped with the cop, and they're getting lowered into some, some spiky spikes. Yeah. Uh, there, there's trouble. Probably illusions, illusionary spikes, I though. I think it's real oh, spikes what? this time, yeah. I can't tell what's real in this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he truly is the master of illusion. Well, speaking is of... Is he a hero or a villain? <laughs> so, so, speaking of, though, master yeah. of illusions, he jumps down, and there's a, there's a number of Mysterios appear in front of Spider-Man, mm. and he does the old... Which one is me? Let, can you decide? I mean, there's like five of us. <laughs> you, a man who's super fast and super strong and can shoot webs at a range from your hands. You couldn't possibly get all five of us. You're going to have to choose. And he does. And he gets it right. He, he gets just closes right. his eyes and he kicks Mysterio in the face. <laughs> and it's, all, it's all over. Spider-Man is cleared of all charges. Mm. Mysterio goes back to jail. Uh, J- Jonah it- Jameson mm. has, to, has to put up a headline that says Spider-Man's a, a real cool How hero guy. How embarrassing. Embarrassing for him. For him. Sub, subtitle, subheading. And I'm a big turd. <laughs> Byline J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> Must have been hard. Uh, must have been. And then Mary Jane, Wa- Jane Watson calls and she's like, okay, Peter Parker, uh, I forgive you for standing me up. Let's let's get some, let's do some kissing, all right? Yeah, all right. Uh-huh. And then he's sure. pretty happy. Cause well, he, gets- he is. And also she learned a valuable lesson, which is just study and you'll pass anyway. So. Yeah. And you know what? And get some kissing in if you can. Exactly, yeah. You know what I mean? Or maybe just put all the notes in your graphing calculator. Yeah. You know? Didn't you have a friend who... So in Australia, this is this. Will this stay in? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, graphics calculators. You bring them into exams. People already know what they are. The TI eighty two. Yeah, text but some people may not may not know. All right. What? And it's a raw. They last still like two hundred yeah. bucks. Yeah. Oh, that's true. It's a whole. It's a whole thing. But you have to clear the memory before you take it into an exam because you yep. can have programs on there which can solve mathematical equations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Didn't you have a friend that made a program that made it look like you wiped the memory of yeah. the calculator? He built the whole thing. And, wow. And the teacher would be like, "Okay, it's clear," and then he just closed the program and then. My friend was Mysterio, <laughs> the master of illusions. Anyway, what did you think of this episode? I didn't mind it, it was actually. It's fine, yeah. It was pretty, it was pretty good. I, I was... I'd seen this as well. I realized halfway through, I'm like, I've, I saw I this in seen the 90s. It. I, yeah. I was preparing to cringe because we mm. watched some animation in the past. That has not been great, and the I, I feel like the opening the the opening title man, sequence is, is man, not is man, no good. Man, but man, I thought man, like man. I thought it was a fun, playful version of Spider Man. He wasn't yeah. he was quippy, but he wasn't too quippy. You yes. know, he was he had a great tucked in polo shirt that I liked. He did, didn't he? He really yeah. did. Yeah. Now, did you know that after see the season uh, five finale, mm-hmm. John Semper Jr. hoped that the Spider Man the animated series would be picked up for another season? Who's John Semper Jr.? Somebody involved in it. Okay, cool. This guy on the street, we, we asked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> However, when executive producer Avi Arad and the head of Fox Kids, Margaret Loesch, got into an argument, Loesch had the series cancelled. So that's why it didn't wow. exist anymore. Yeah. Do we so know I, what the argument was about? No. So I guess it wasn't fully Avi Arad's fault. It takes two to tango mason doesn't oh, that's it? true but it takes only one to cancel <laughs> spider-man 1994 to 1998 I, i'd watch another one of those I, me too yeah but not now mm. i'm busy there is also a 1960s version of this exact same storyline yes. apparently from the 1960s cartoon that's right maybe we'll do that next time maybe we will anyway this has been caravan of garbage uh there's episodes of that here every week every mm. tuesday it might be mm. a video game might be a tv show might be a movie might be a book we've never done a book and, and we never will. <laughs> how do you? How does that translate into a visual medium? That's true. Yeah. Also, there's videos here on Thursday and Sunday, and we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. Yep. Uh, also, there's an extended audio version of this linked below if you want to check it out. All right, guys. So, uh, recommend something for Caravan of Garbage, and we're leaving. If you please. Yes. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.